everyone welcome back those that are new welcome thank you for all your likes shares and subscribes i do appreciate each and every one of you today we're going to be doing an energy reading on this email powered bloom information that's been and that's come out lately i'd like to see if there's any validity to anything that he's saying or whether it's pure speculation and whether or not he has inside information where he's getting it from so let's get started what is Howard Bloom's intentions and is there any validity on this information that he has released, please, Spirit? Any validity? How much of this is truly accurate, please, Spirit? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Two of Coins. Okay, well, we have exploration here, foresight, his foresight. Struggles, flexibility, fun, juggling the situation. It seems to me that he doesn't know any more to this than what the public know. It doesn't seem to me that he has a reliable source here. It seems that he's been filling in the gaps with his own foresight. There may not be any validity in what he's saying here or reliability. Let's just give me more place, Spirit. Give me more. Thank you. We have the Queen of Swords. The Sun. The Empress. And the King of Wands. So there may be some truth to what he's saying here. We have the victim card. And the king of wands over the two of coins, an in and out energy, a, a restless energy here. So it doesn't seem to be very reliable. I don't believe that he actually believes that everything that he says is truth either. There are some truths.
But he's enlightened by his own foresight here. There doesn't seem to be any sources here that he has. He's been filling in the blanks himself. By what he believes. So it doesn't seem to be unreliable. The King of Wands is unreliable. Somebody you really can't rely on. An adventurous person, more of an adventure, juggling the truth here, a strategy. I believe this is purely based on his opinion. He doesn't have any sources here to prove that this Everything that he's put out is valid in any way. So could you tell me, please, Spirit, what... Steve... Gonsavas feels about this, please. Or any of the, the rest of the families. What's Steve Gonsavas? Or any of the other family's energies towards this information that's been released by Howard Bloom. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Judgment, the Nine of Cups, the Three of Cups. And the Five of Swords. They don't believe what he's saying here. They don't believe that his story has any validity whatsoever. They believe it's based purely on his own judgments. He's making a joke out of the situation. He's affecting the community. And he's just wanting to win. I believe what he's put out is an absolute joke. It's like he's put his own foresight, his own judgments, and his own opinions
into this to make a story. And it's causing a lot of doubt in people's minds. It's like they believe that the community have become victims to this story that is made up. Although there is truth to what he's saying, he's filled in the gaps himself. The families aren't happy about this situation. They believe that too many lies have been put out about the situation as it is, about the case. And they believe that anything that isn't correct or right should not be put out into the community. He's overextending the truth. They really do disagree here about what he's put out. It's like he just wants notoriety for himself. They believe that he's a smug individual trying to make money out of the situation. Trying to enlighten people on the truth. But it's all only pure speculation and in his own opinion. There's only half truths here. There's no, no full facts that he's put in. So there, there were a few things that were noted. In this information of the airmail, and I'd just like to know which ones are true and which ones, or which ones are fact and which ones are not. So I guess the first one is, was Steve Gonsalves. talking to two of the jurors. Was Steve Gonsalves talking to two of the jurors here? And will this affect the case in any way? Okay, we have the Ten of Wands again. Burdens, hassles, overextending, struggles, the lovers, the Five of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Unreliable. A choice between two struggles. Five of Pentacles, needing help.
Okay, give me more, please, Spirit. Was Steve collaborating with two of the jurors? We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. The Temperance in reverse. The Two of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. I do believe he's been, he may be been talking to one person, but I don't believe it was a juror here. Or a couple of people. He's spoken to a couple of people about... What has happened? But there's no juror here. He was needing help to understand why this happened. But he knows that he needs to wait. For the right time. He cannot get involved or do anything wrong to jeopardise the case at all. <coughs> this information seems to be unreliable here. And the King of Pentacles in reverse, unreliable. It's like he's made a truce. After he... questioned... Maybe two individuals. Now that may have been Jack and Hunter. I know that he did question them. He needed to call a truce towards the police. They've told him that he needs to wait. Not to get involved. Not to stand in the way of justice. Because things could turn around. They don't want to give the perpetrator any reason to be able to appeal. But he's also seeing the things that are going around in the community unreliable as well. So no, I don't believe that there's any jurors here. He is going through some, well, this is showing the hard times he's going through or all the families are going through. Ill health. Finding it very difficult to be able to stand by and not get involved with the situation. He 
He is feeling very restless. But also believes that anything that this Howard Bloom has put out is unreliable. And he doesn't support this whatsoever. Okay, so... There was also mention of the girls, the two survivors, messaging one another. While this all happened. Now, how much truth is there to this? How much truth is there to Bethany and Dylan messaging each other while the murders happened? We have the Five of Wands. So they definitely did know that there was some sort of disagreement going on in the household, some sort of arguing. They said that they couldn't hear anything, but I think they did hear some arguing going on. So question is, did they try to message any of the other roommates before messaging one another? Because that would be my question. Did they try to message any of the other roommates? Bethany or Dylan? Okay, we have the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, which is usually Kaylee in these readings. We have the Magician, the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. I believe one of them may have tried to message Kaylee. But she may not have answered here. Well, she wouldn't have been able to answer. And this is where they had some sort of conscious awareness But something may have been up here. The intuition did come in to play here. The truth will come out about these phone calls. Something definitely fishy is going on or showed that something fishy was going on with their messages. It did bring out some truth 
to how this happened and the temperance in reverse, the timing. The two of wands, personal power. Staying in their rooms, looking after themselves. So tell me what, what they were messaging to one another, please, Spirit. What were Dylan and Bethany messaging to one another? Oh, we have the Seven of Swords. Lying. They're lying about something. The Four of Wands, the house. The Six of Cups. The past and the Eight of Swords. Sabotage. Self-sabotage. Feeling stuck. They're definitely not telling the full truth here. See, this could also show the perp walking away from the house. Okay, so Dylan might have actually messaged, tried to message she may have tried to message Kaylee first and there was no answer. So she may have believed that Kaylee was asleep. And it seems to me that Dylan's message, Bethany, telling her that there was someone in the house or somebody that had just left. And this is showing her confusion here, her feeling powerless. Restricted. This may be when she was in fear. It's like they went into a childlike state. I know that when I read on Dylan once before, she'd gone into like a childlike state, feeling stuck and powerless. She knew something fishy was going on. It 
So I believe the message messages may have been I just seen somebody leaving the house or I just seen somebody in the house. And maybe this is when Bethany has looked out her window and seen them walking off. She said they're gone. They've left the house. Consoling one another in some way. Maybe saying, oh, it's okay, don't worry, they're gone now. But of course, not knowing what had happened. So did they, any of them try to contact any others? We have the Hierophant. They made themselves believe that everything was okay here. Give me more please, spirit. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Planting seeds. Planting seeds in each other's minds. Everything's okay. Everything's okay, they're gone. Okay. So I do believe the girls know a lot more than what they're saying here. May have something to do with Kaylee. So that was assessing the situation. I believe this is when Bethany's looked out her window and saw the perp leaving. But wouldn't you get up and check on your roommates and say, what was that all about? Or what sort of joke was that? Or...
Or who was that leaving? Was that your friend? Or you'd get up and lock the door at least, wouldn't you? There is something very suspicious about their story. Or a lot that we don't know. I'd find it very hard to believe that they would realise that the whole house had been unalived and then they'd just go and sleep. I doubt that that would have happened. So it seems to me that they may have just Eased each other's minds. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, they're gone. Just go to sleep now. But I myself wouldn't have been able to go to sleep unless I made sure that the door was locked that they just walked out of. That they couldn't get back in. She may have been in such a frozen shock state that she just couldn't even leave her bedroom in case there was somebody else. And the conformity, this, the Hierophant, this shows what they've always been told. You don't ring the police no matter what circumstances. And people will only believe what they want to believe. So, of course... You know, in your wildest dreams, you wouldn't believe that something like this would happen. But there definitely was a direction change here. They assessed the situation. So this is what m might have calmed each other down. Now, I, I don't really want to get into what they may have got up to afterwards because this isn't a Dylan and Bethany read. I've done, I have done that before. But this is purely all about the, f the messages between them. Because I do believe that they knew that there was going to be a shake-up. They just didn't know the extent. So when they've seen him leave, They've thought, oh, okay, then everything's okay. Just go back to sleep. Okay, to finish things off, I'd like to know why Howard Bloom did this book, I think it is. Why did he do this book? Why did he do this book?
Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have the King of Swords, which usually shows the perpetrator in this reading, but because of the question I asked, it's also bringing up enterprising. Mm -hmm. We have the Eight of Cups. What goes around comes around. The Tower and the Six of Coins. He's done this purely for money. Enterprise, money. And I believe that's what's going to be his downfall here. But he had a revelation. This is the way to make some money. His enterprise. So his business or... articulate, a man with deep thoughts. Making his move. What goes around comes around, the tower. He's had a tower moment with money. He's needing money. It seems to me this is purely... A way of him making money. So take the airmail, Howard Bloom information with a grain of salt people. There's only half truths here. The rest he's filled in the gaps himself. So that is good news and bad news. Good news knowing that it's purely all his opinion, most of it, him filling in his own gaps. And his way of making money out of it. His information is unreliable. Yeah, take it with a grain of salt, people. Love and light.